to see few types of waves. Now, first kind of wave that we are going to see is longitudinal waves. Now, what is longitudinal waves? In this type of wave, the movement of the particles parallel to the motion of the energy. The displacement of the medium is in the same direction in which the wave is moving. Okay, sound wave is a great example of longitudinal wave. Okay, let me tell you about more about this longitudinal wave. Sound wave, so think how this sound moves. Although we cannot see it, but just imagine how it moves. Suppose you are talking to this direction, the person who is standing just in front of you will listen to you clearly than the person who is standing behind you. Why? Because the sound is moving parallelly to your mouth, is moving parallelly towards this direction. If you are uh, looking at this direction, okay, if you look at certain direction, the sound will parallelly travel. Now, this movement of particles which is parallel to the motion of energy, so you are generating a sound, a certain kind of energy you are generating. So the energy is flowing on this direction, sound, the wave is also moving in this direction, the same direction. So that kind of displacement of, uh, that kind of wave is called longitudinal wave. Uh, medium is the same direction in which the wave is moving. So that kind of wave is called longitudinal wave. Suppose this is an example of longitudinal wave. Suppose you have a spring and you are compressing the spring or you are, uh, suppose there is a spring and you are compressing the spring. So you are giving a, uh, putting an energy on a certain direction. Okay. So in that direction, the energy is working and certain kind of wave of energy is working. So that is a longitudinal wave. And basically, the way we show this longitudinal wave in this format, suppose this is the wave of your uh, wave of your sound. Okay, there is a certain thing called compression, a certain thing called refraction, so refraction and again compression. So, from this point, from the point of compression to the again point of compression, this is called one complete wavelength. Again, after this compression, there will be again refraction, then again there will be compression. So, this is how it goes on. Compression, refraction, compression, refraction. This is how the wave travels in this way. Okay, so this for in this case, this is the wavelength. And the amplitude is what? Amplitude, we learned that amplitude is the previously the wave we, we saw was transverse wave. Now we're saying that longitudinal wave. We'll see more of transverse wave, but now let's for now let's understand the longitudinal wave from the peak point to the lower point is the amplitude, same in here as well. And uh, this is it actually. Just remember the examples. Pressures and sound wave, pressure wave and sound wave, these are the examples of longitudinal wave. Okay, if you, even if you do not remember what is longitudinal wave, just think about the sound, how the sound travels. That is the longitudinal, that's how the longitudinal wave can be defined. Okay. <clears throat> now, as I was talking about transverse wave, so now let's see more of a transverse wave, although the diagram is not so clear. But this is the similar diagram that we have seen in this video. Similar diagram. This is an example of transverse wave. So let me tell you what is transversal wave. Transversal waves are the waves whose oscillations are perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation okay so what does it mean this this wave is moving towards up up and it, again it is coming down and again it's moving up so this is moving perpendicularly to the direction direction is this way this is the direction right so this is the direction and the wave 
is moving like this. It is going up, it is going down, up, down, up, down. So it is moving perpendicular towards the direction. But in case of longitudinal wave, it is moving towards the direction. If the direction is like this, sorry, not only towards, it's moving parallel towards the direction. Towards the direction, it's moving parallelly. And in the in the uh, transversal wave, it's moving perpendicularly. So this is the difference between transversal wave and longitudinal wave. So this is longitudinal wave and this is transversal wave. Wave travels in both of this format or both of this form. 